right, so let's get started with the condensed version of this video, which are just my top award winners for a variety of categories. But be sure to stick around after for more detailed reviews of every single highlighter that I tried so that you can look through all this information and decide what would be the best for you. First, for best value, we have the Milk Liners, which offer pretty good quality and color range for less than 50 cents per highlighter. I found the Shuttle Art brand had the closest color dupes with around 30 options, and they're double-ended just like the Zebra Mild Liners. The Stabilo Swing Cool Highlighters had the smoothest ink. So smooth you could probably use this as your next pickup line, haha. <laughs> okay, no more bad jokes, but the one with the least bleed through, in fact it had absolutely zero bleed through, was the Pilot Friction, which is also erasable. The iconic 2A had the least smearing, and my personal favorite were the Unipropis since they have a cool window tip that allows you to see the texture highlighting and they're among the best in quality. Before we start with the reviews though, here are the methods and criteria I'm using to test each highlighter. And I'll show you a baseline testing of the Zebra Mild Liner so that you can compare the quality of these dupes to the originals, since not gonna lie, some of them are a lot better quality than the Mild Liners. One of the most important criteria was unit price, since you know, the point of dupes is to find something cheaper. The Mild Liners are around $1.20 each, and most of the options I'll highlight are below this price. I'll swatch everything side by side with the 25 muted and pastel mild liner colors so you can compare those. And I did bleed through tests using the cheapest binder paper I could find. I'll give it a rating somewhere from gaping wound to paper cut. Next, I tested smearing on printed text, gel pens with varying drying times and pencil. Mild liners are pretty bad with smearing, so pretty much everything's better than these. I did a subjective rating of smoothness from silky to scratchy sweater. Your preference may vary and tip size since precision can be important when you're highlighting textbooks with small text. Alrighty, and now let's get into the reviews. The big bright liners in the pastel colors are probably the best highlighters you can get at Walmart, and they come in six colors, which are slightly darker than their mild liner counterparts. They have moderate bleed through, low smearing, and a very silky smooth feel. The tip size is quite narrow at three millimeters, and their unit price is 75 cents each when you get them in the set of 12, which is the smallest quantity I could find them in. The Donga Twin Liners are pretty cheap and clearly meant to dupe the Mild Liners, and the quality is overall pretty meh. These highlighters are double-ended with a bullet tip marker on the other side, and they're a Korean brand, so they might be easier to find in Asia. You can find them in 15 colors in three different sets, and the colors are very, very close to mild liners. You can tell they meant to dupe the color vibes and color sets. They have pretty heavy bleed through though, but the sneering is quite low. Smoothness isn't great. They're kind of scratchy, and there are these blotchy ink splotches that happen if you have any unevenness in the speed and pressure with which you highlight. The tip size is medium, around 4 millimeters, and the unit price is 64 cents each. The Fabric Estelle text liners are a pretty solid middle of the road option. Like if we had to place them on a bell curve in every single category, they'd be zero standard deviations from the mean. They are a German brand, so they're probably easier to find in Europe. I really like the color palette. They're a more faded and pale look than the mild liners. They have moderate bleed through, moderate smearing, and a moderate smoothness, really going for middle of the road in every category. The tip size is pretty medium as well at four millimeters, and the unit price is the same as the mild liners at $1.20 each. The iconic two-way highlighters have some unique colors and are very precise. They come in 15 different colors. Right now, I'm just showing five in the pastel set, which is, you know, more of a pastel mild liner type vibe. They have medium bleed through and very, very low smearing. They're the overall champion in this category. The smoothness is pretty medium as well. The tip size is another noteworthy feature. It's a three millimeters-ish, probably less, very thin, skinny legend. The other side also has a very thin marker tip. The unit price is $1.60 each. The Milk Liners are a pretty close Mild Liner dupe as well, but make it thicker. These are double-sided, just like the Mild Liners. Besides the highlighter, they have a conical marker tip, kind of like a Crayola marker. 
They come in sets of 12 colors, and they have a lot of close color dupes since, you know, it's clearly a copy of the mild liners. They have low bleed through, but pretty heavy smearing. Again, kind of like the mild liners. And they have medium smoothness. The tip size is a millimeter thicker than the mild liners, which actually makes a pretty significant difference in my eyes. And you may remember these are the best value category winners since their unit price is less than 50 cents each in the set of 12. The Monami Soft Highlighters are an acceptable and decently affordable option. They come in six different colors that are pastel, although you can get them in a few other neon colors. They have heavy bleed through, medium smearing, and their smoothness is quite silky and nice. The tip size is a pretty medium standard four millimeters, and their unit price is less than 50 cents, just like the milk liners, but the quality is just a little bit not as good. If I had to sum up these Mr. Pen highlighters in one sentence, it would just be, don't buy them. They feel quite cheap in construction and the colors are really not pastel at all, despite how they're advertised. They're a lot more like brighter Crayola marker colors. They have heavy bleed through and moderate smearing, but the worst thing is how scratchy the tips and the ink feel. The tip size is a standard medium four millimeters and the unit price is 50 cents. The Pilot Frictions are one of my personal favorites and they are an epic erasable option. They come in six different light colors, although they have a couple more options that are neon. They have no bleed through because they sit on top of the page instead of soaking all the way through because uh, they're erasable if I haven't mentioned that enough. They also have very little smearing. They're right up there with the iconic highlighters in least smearing. The smoothness isn't spectacular. They're a little bit scratchy, although on the silkier end of scratchy. The tip size is four millimeters and the unit price is $1 each. Next, a highlighter you can find pretty easily on Amazon are the Shuttle Art Mild Highlighters. These are also clearly a mild liner dupe with lots of color options. You can get up to 30, although unfortunately I only got 18 to show you. Since they are such obvious mild liner dupes, they're double ended with a bullet marker on one side. For all the other criteria, they're pretty medium, the bleed through, the smearing, the smoothness, the tip size is four millimeters, again, medium like everything else. And the unit price is 83 cents a piece. The Stabilo Swing Cool Highlighters. Please don't roast me in the comments because I'm most definitely saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, Stabilo, Stabilo, let me know. And they are a European brand, so they're probably easier to find in Europe. There are six pastel colors, which are very slightly more saturated than the Zebra Mild Liners, but I really like this color palette. They have very low smearing, almost tied with the iconic two-way highlighters that I ultimately picked as the champion. And they are the silkiest feeling the smoothest top winner in this category. But the downside of this smooth ink is that they have very high bleed through, unfortunately. The tip size is four millimeters and the unit price is a dollar and 30 cents. And last but certainly not least are the Unipropus window highlighters, which are my personal favorite. They've got this cool clear window that you can see your text through and they're double-sided with a bullet tip marker on the other end of the highlighter. They have a nice muted palette with six different soft or pastel colors and six that are the new smoky colors, which are also quite muted and pastel and similar to the Zebra Mild Liners. They have very low bleed through, low smearing, and they are silky smooth. The tip size is a medium four millimeters and the unit price is a dollar and 40 cents each. And that's everything for today's video. I hope you found it interesting and thank you so much for watching. As an additional thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. There's a little giveaway in the description box. Be sure to check it out. With that aside, I upload new videos about student life on this channel pretty regularly. And you can check out my TikTok, my second channel, and my Instagram for some other marginally school-related content. See you next time.